Hello again, uh, thank you for your company. Today is Maundy Thursday, and in the Gospel accounts we read that on this occasion, the night before he was to be crucified, Jesus spent time in a room with his closest friends, enjoying communion together, and uh, just delighting in one another's company around a meal table. Proverbs 14 and verse 30. A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. We read, don't we, that during that meal, that time together, even as Jesus shared uh, bread and wine, uh, it's symbols of his body and blood around the table, that there was one there who envied him. There was one who uh, somehow just didn't get what Jesus was about. And this one person, Judas, betrayed him, went on to betray uh, Jesus. I wonder if part of his thinking was envy. He was envious for the following that Jesus had gathered. He was envious for the miracles that Jesus was able to do. He was envious, perhaps, for the, the love that uh, Jesus so freely showed to so many. And I wonder if that's part of what caused him to uh, lose his peace, his inner peace, and want to uh, act in such a such a horrific way, we don't know, and I'm simply supposing. But as we reflect on the um, episode of uh, Maundy Thursday, and as we allow the the imagery, the the pictorial language of that scene to kind of influence our thinking, uh, I wonder how we might react. A heart at peace gives life to the body. Part of what Jesus was demonstrating to his friends there was the uh, having, a, ha, having a, an attitude of serving one another, washing uh, the disciples' feet and expecting them to wash one another's feet. To give love, to give, uh, to demonstrate love in, in so many different ways, uh, that can only come from a heart of peace. Peace with oneself, peace with one's companions. And uh, that's the heart that Solomon in Proverbs and God throughout scriptures is uh, seeking from his people. Envy rots the bones. It eats us away, doesn't it, inside. But a heart of peace uh, causes us to be people who just demonstrate God's love in different ways. Let's pray together. Father, this weekend is uh, particularly uh, hard and yet celebratory for us as your people. Uh, please help us to know that uh, across this weekend we can enjoy your peace because of all that you've done through your Son. Enable us, Lord, not to be filled with envy and difficulty, but to share your love, to show your love, to proclaim your love in everything that we do and in all that we are. Holy Spirit, fill us and lead us, I pray, for your glory. Amen. God bless you, and uh, may you know God's presence with you this evening and indeed tomorrow and over this weekend. Thank you for joining me.